Hey everybody, this is a 2009 Chevy Kodiak C4500 uh, with the uh, LMM Duramax in it. I'm gonna show you briefly how to do the uh, EGR delete and get prepared for your tuner, which I use the EFI live tuner. Um, since I'm in the engine bay here, I'm going to show you where your air intake valve switch is that you're gonna need to disconnect along with your EGR valve. Um, all right, so on this particular truck, there's one of the switches, or one of the plugs. All right, so where that goes is, all right, so I am mostly retarded, and my name is Jim. All right, so let's go like this. This is really kind of hard to see exactly where it is, but here's your, um, this is the, basically the unit that you're gonna be coming off of. There's a power. Uh, this is a live power, so don't be touching your tongue to it and, you know, just stick to ground. Okay, um, here's your plug right there. So that's actually pretty easy to get at. Uh, and if we can get some light on it, that would be great. And once again, I'm Jim. I'm a little retarded. And come on, turn in there. Can't get it. Anyways, well, you know the location. Don't be like me, and we'll be all good. And I was upside down. Hmm, that's how that goes. Here, let's do this again. Tucked in right behind there. There it is. Right there. So, the other one is a lot of fun to get at. Your EGR switch. That is right there. Disconnected from the housing. Um, I'll try and get a view of it from the back side. Now there's a trick to getting this unplugged. Um, what I did was I took two uh, pry bars right here, different lengths, held one prying in on the switch. Oh, Jesus, what the hell's my finger in the way there? Okay, so I held one, or on the switch, on the plug, um, to release the pin and by doing that, releasing that pin, I took this one and pried it off. So that was the only way I could see fit to get that one off without you know, having really, really small hands, which I wouldn't brag about that. Um, and there's another thing, I used the EFI Live AutoCal. I called this guy, he's awesome. I talked to him in person, told him exactly what I was wanting to do left out the fact that I was possibly gonna want a uh, DSP-5 switch for shift on, or switch on demand. Um, so he sent me a link to correct my stupidity and uh, that worked out great. So I also, on this truck, have a, or will have a video out of how to do your DPF delete since they do not make kits for that, um, as well as uh, fuel pump. Um, and so, Right here, with your doghouse removed. Super easy to get at. This is like a two minute job. Um, I didn't even have to spray these um, with uh, any penetrating oil, but um, here is your uh, EGR return. So what this is is your plate. It's a block off plate. It comes with a uh, metal uh, gasket. Keep that metal gasket in there and uh, basically get your plate in it's it's slotted so you don't have to take this thing all the way apart but spread it apart far enough to where you can manipulate your plate into place and uh yeah that i mean works out great like i said uh you're gonna need a tune or a tuner um and uh because otherwise you're gonna be throwing a code and hopefully that will clear up a lot of mess for you because otherwise finding a complete DP or a complete EGR delete for this truck is impossible unless you know a uh, seriously good fabricator, which I just didn't feel like wasting the time on something where it really didn't matter, you know. So um, I hope this was somewhat helpful and uh, good luck, everybody.